Well, then, then let's get on. I mean, game. It's not exactly a game. It's you know, okay. but, but now that people are taking horse dewormer and <laughs> bleeding out of their asses. I I want to rank the stupid. Okay. I want to go through some of the things that these people have been up to and rank them because like horse dewormer I find well it's impressive. It is. It's not as good as trying to stick your car keys to your forehead, but it's <laughs> impressive. So yeah. this this is the general idea. I want us to rate from 1 to 10 right-wing stupidity. And I have a list. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm going to get a pen. I got a pen. Uh, I need a piece of paper. I can't write it on my note. And I have put this up as a poll in the group. Oh, fucking okay. okay. I'll just go to the group. So if you're, oh, oh, there you go. Well, I was gonna read them off to you. Okay, well, well, do it. But I, I need a list so I can to help with the ranking. But you go ahead. Oh. So, in no terrible particular order, Jade Helm. Remember oh, Jade shit, I Helm forgot about that. We were going to invade and take over Texas. Yeah, Jade Helm. As Helm's if Texas 13. was not already part of the country, we, we do not need to invade them. <laughs> totally forgot about Jade Helm 13. Yeah. Yes. So on a on a scale from like one to ten, how stupid would you rate Jade Helm? I would say like I would say like a three. I would say like a three or a four. It's yeah. got to be up there because it's insanity that like. Well, ten it, would be ten would be the stupidest. Oh, 10 would be the stupidest? I thought 1 would be the stupidest. Yeah. If 10 I, is the stupidest, I can't help then thinking, like... I, I, if I think ratings, it's always some variation of star ratings. Yeah. So, yeah, 10. Okay. Uh, then, then maybe like 7. Okay. Well, okay, I... Up? I I, I I think we've seen much stupider since that. Well, well, it upsets me the idea that like, oh, Trump wants to be president for uh, Trump wants to be president till like twenty thirty, and he wants to be one hundred percent in charge, and he wants to be a dictator, and this and that. But then when a when a Democrat comes in, and, and Republicans are fine with it. Republicans are fine with Trump becoming a mad dictator and killing all of his political rivals, but then once a Democrat comes along and says, hey, we're going to make sure that everyone is nice, automatically the Republicans go, the Republicans go oh shit, he's going to come for our guns, and then he's going to lock us in camps, and then he's going to burn the Bible, and then he's going to kill LeVar Burton, and then he's going to shit on the American flag, and then we're all going to die! And like... But then when a Republican comes in and it's like, okay, first things first, we're going to kill all the brown people. And it's like, yes, yes, exactly. This is fine. This is 100% okay with us. So I think you are saying that Jade Helm 13, like we've seen crazier things, but I think that we shouldn't forget of the importance of how Republicans keep thinking this or a different yeah. oh, oh. version of this. That Jade that Jade Helm 13 is just a, like, Pizzagate with different steps. Well, you know? yes. No, 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 no. We're not, we, we are judging strictly stupidity here. 
Yeah. We, we are not. We are. We are not rating, uh, in, according to its importance, or its social impact, or anything like that. Just for flat out stupid bullshit they've come up with. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Then so, so I would totally agree. Yes, Jade Helm is is a significant event in right wing stupidity. Yes. And so are many other many of the other ones on the list. Are they the stupidest though? Okay. So continue. So are they stupid like the next one, Mr. Potato Head's genitals? Republicans' entire political strategy is just fear-based. Yes. So anytime something happens that, like, hey, it's weird that we're gendering this plastic doll. Maybe we can make it more gender-friendly. Oh, my God! They're coming to steal our Mr. Potato Heads, and after that, it's camps, and oh, my God, it's the Holocaust. So, yeah. Yeah. That like everything leads to the Holocaust. They're pushing back James Bond. Yeah, the everything's leading. Time. Okay, Why wait a second, wait a second. Everything's leading James to the Bond Holocaust movie. for the fucking Holocaust deniers, who would sure as shit straight start the next fucking Holocaust, given yeah. the goddamn chance. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. What were you saying? Uh, I would just. Trying to come up with a, it just everything leads to the Holocaust for yeah. Republicans. When a white person is even slightly inconvenienced, oh well, you mean to tell me I can't go into the gym and work out? You know, this is the first thing that they did in Germany when the Nazis took over, and it's like, okay, just because a white person is slightly inconvenienced doesn't mean that it's uh, concentration camps. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But Mr. Potato Head is pretty crazy. I would, I would rate that more than I would rate Jade Hell. Yes. Okay. So you want to go maybe an 8 on that? Yeah. Okay, so what else? Uh, I, I think I'm just trailing one behind you each one, but then again, I know the list. <laughs> yeah. Okay. JFK Jr. coming back from the dead to fight pedophiles by Trump's side. Uh, I've got a picture. I've got a picture. I have got a picture. And I'm already in my pictures. Hold on, let me just keep scrolling here. I've got pictures. I got a picture here somewhere. I was, I was driving through the neighborhood. I was a bit early to pick up Bella from the high school, so I'm driving around the neighborhood. There you go. And I found a house that's obviously owned by an old person. Here, let me turn off the ring light. So it, it's a house, and they have Hold a bunch on. of Trump twenty. They have a bunch of Trump 2020 flags, and there's a tiny Trump uh, sign here. And so I, zooming in to the sign, you can see that it's a Trump 2020 sign, but they got scotch tape, and they covered over Pence and put J.F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> nice! And, like, it's one thing to have that on your lawn in 2019. But in 2021, to still be rocking this sign, convinced that JF Kennedy Jr. is alive and yeah. is a Republican and is coming back to life, that's fucking ridiculous. Yes. But there is a certain validity to it because if you are going to be seeking out pedophiles, First place to look is Trump sides. The microphone. Yes. <laughs> you know, you want to find a pedophile? Who is Trump standing next to? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, 
Yeah, I find that insane. I find that insane. Like, how did they pick the liberal Democrat? I don't understand that. I don't understand the fact that they think that longtime Democrat from a Democratic <coughs> family faked his death and went Republican. Like, like, why would you even... Fun fact, on his deathbed, Ronald Reagan said, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have put crack in all of those black neighborhoods. You know what, I'm a Democrat now. And then he died. Yeah. So those were his last words. His last words were, hey, everybody, I'm a Democrat now. And then he died. So, uh, yeah, Ronald but, Reagan was a Democrat. Yeah, but but JFK, picking JFK Jr., putting aside that he's dead. <laughs> yeah. That, that's like that's like picking Chelsea Clinton. That is weird. That is weird. Like that that matching is so fucking bizarre. Yeah. Damn it! I would put that ahead of Mr. Potato Head. And and he he and like it's not like he was the conservative the conservative of the family. Yep. He was probably the most liberal yet. <laughs> he, so I, he, I don't. His I don't magazine. Get, huh? It's goddamn magazine. Attacking every Republican in every goddamn issue, George. I I I I, I don't quite get their 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 mindset. Are, are are they expecting him to turn heel and then then he's on their side, or you know like JFK Jr. comes running in with a steel chair and. Smacks Joe Biden in the head. I I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. So what do you think in there? I would, in fact, put that higher than Mr. Potato Head. I might put Mr. Potato Head before Jade Helm Thirteen, because I'm still a big fan of that one. Well, well, you have J uh, you have Jade Helm at seven. You have Mr. Potato. Potato Head's genitals at 8. And JFK would be at 9, then. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. And I'm going to be straight up. This is this is my favorite, and you can probably tell because I've mentioned it a lot. So, personally, I'm going ahead and giving this one a 10. COVID shots make you magnetic. Yeah, that that is pretty fucking insane. I think that is just the absolute stupidest thing on so many fucking levels. You're I... just sweaty. You're just <laughs> sweaty whites. Even it, if it... the entire fucking vial, even if the entire COVID shot was made up of magnetic fibrings, Fiber, magnetic, ma magnetic flakes. Oh my God, Bunny! I just put a nickel on my forehead and it's sticked. Oh my it's God! It's stuck. Oh my God, I'm magnetic. It has nothing to do with the fact that the air conditioner is off and I'm sweating like a fucking pig because it's the goddamn summer. No, <laughs> I'm magnetic from the fucking vaccine. Yeah, yeah. But what makes oh it my funnier? God. This is all the proof I need. But what makes it funnier is now do that in front of a political hearing. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Uh, at, Walk at a up to that rally. microphone for your local yeah. congressman. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not magnetic anymore. And we're not supposed to believe that you're raving fucking maniacs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the evidence is just mounting on this list itself. 
that these people are raving maniacs because it's like it's Absolutely. like wait we got more I think we're halfway through the one two three this is the fourth God okay we are just okay, give me to the more. point of this list yeah. okay so what rating are you gonna give this um I would say before JFK Jr. But yeah. above everything else is what I would say. So maybe an eight for that? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Seuss being canceled. I'm so happy I am no longer the manager of a children's oh. department of a bookstore. Oh, God, yeah. I, I really miss working at the bookstore because I worked there for about 18 years, and it was an important part of my life, and I miss it. And then suddenly, oh, you know, these liberals are canceling Dr. Seuss. We need to buy all the Dr. Seuss we can because, you know, cancel culture has gotten out of control. You know these goddamn liberals, and it's like, thank fucking God I don't work there anymore. Fuck! Praise Jeebus that I don't fucking work in the kids section anymore. Yeah. Because that would have driven me fucking insane. Yeah. Insane. Fuck! I don't know if this necessarily counts as stupid, though. Okay? This is more of the fucking lengths you would go to to defend your racism. Yeah, that just shows me that, like... The Dr. Seuss thing is ridiculous because people are like... Hey, these three obscure Dr. Seuss books have some racist imagery in it, and we're going to stop publishing these. And then uh, White America went, they're canceling Dr. Seuss, but th there's nothing wrong with Green Eggs and Ham. There's nothing wrong with the Lorax. And it's like, yeah, that shows me that you only know four Dr. Seuss books, and you haven't read all of them. You've never read McElligot's Pool. <laughs> You've never read the 10,000 hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. Yeah. You've never seen the 10,000 fingers of Dr. T. <laughs> you don't know your Dr. Seuss. You don't know all of the... You've never seen the fucking racist as shit World War II cartoons that he drew. You, you, you do not know your Dr. Seuss, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and like... And I, and I don't personally think like bad, bad Dr. Seuss because I expect certain behaviors from people from certain periods of time. You know? Where you could be like the most liberal racist. You know? Yes. Absolutely. You know, where where I, I I'm not surprised that Dr. Seuss maybe had some certain racist views because yeah. everybody fucking did. Yeah, everybody Absolutely. still does, or too goddamn many of us. Yeah, you know, so like I mean. I, I bet you we turn a shovel or two on Stan Lee, we're going to find some shit. And in fact, Rhodey from Iron Man was racist as shit. Yep. Agreed. You could not have a black Marvel character who did not speak some form of jive. Yes. Yeah. You know? What was it that Luke Cage used to say? Um... Sweet Christmas. That's yeah. what he used to say. Yeah. 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 So, so... Uh, 
yes, stupidity is involved for, for the point that you raise that some people just don't know they're Dr. Seuss. Therefore, Dr. Seuss can't be bad. But I really feel it's more of a, a defensive racist posture than stupid. So I'm going to score this one pretty low. I'm going to give this one a three. Yeah, I, I would put this lowest. And again, it's not that I'm saying that this was a good thing or anything. I just don't feel it was it was stupid. In it wasn't the way stupid. these other things are stupid. It was just it wasn't stupid, it was just that a lot of Americans think they know Dr. Seuss, but he wrote things other than Horton Hears a Who, The Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, and The Lorax. He wrote a lot more. Yeah. And, okay. I, it, it, one of the books that got canceled was a well, book that, that I, I actually agree with, though. That um, I agree, that is stupid. Yeah. yeah. It is stupid, but... And, and then, and then uh, what's his name? Uh, Ted Cruz is like... Uh, the Democrats are trying to cancel Dr. Seuss, so I'm going to do something that Democrats hate. I'm going to read Green Eggs and Ham. And it's like, okay, okay, uh, that's not what we're having an issue with. We're not canceling all of Dr. Seuss, you fucking idiot. He wrote some books, and some of them had some really racist shit in them. Well, but there were also a lot of people who were directly defending the racist shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that a lot of people who were defending Dr. Seuss just didn't know that these things existed, because it's like, they can't cancel Dr. Seuss. I've read The Cat in the Hat a bunch of times, and there's nothing bad in there. And it's like, yeah, there's nothing bad in there. The he movie, fucking different fucking story. Yeah. Okay, so so what do you think for Dr. Seuss? That's, that's lowest on the list so far. So you go on one? Yeah. Okay. Just as a broad topic, and, and a couple of these run together, hydrochloroquine. And basically the hydrochloroquine that, that most of them were looking at using were the fish tank cleaners. I just feel like all of that was a Republican scam that like, shit, I own stock in this weird thing. How do I make money off of it? I don't know. I'll say that it works for the coronavirus and that it's less stupid, but more like like you fell for a robocall, you know? Yeah. Like it's just a scam that a bunch of dumbass people uh, fell for. But I wouldn't really call it stupid. I would put that above Dr. Seuss. Okay. So let's go two on that. Yeah, it feels more something being perpetrated on stupid people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, than stupid people would not know about hydrochloroquine unless somebody told them. Yeah. You know? Okay, yeah. so let's go to. Okay. I need, a, I need a breath for this one. A bit of a drink. <clears throat> Dates for Donald Trump's reinstatement, January 20th, March 4th, by the end of April, June 8th, June 4th, August 13th. I got a viral tweet um, on one of those dates. It had, it's been seen a uh, hundred thousand times. It's gotten over a thousand likes. Uh, August 13th was one of the dates, and I tweeted, Trump was going to have his reinstatement day inauguration at the White House, but Rudy rooted it all up, and now his inauguration will be at the Love's truck stop at 1001 
Highway 76 in White House, Tennessee. Yes. <laughs> so update your plans accordingly. A hashtag Trump reinstatement. And it exploded on me. It, 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 it got over a thousand likes. And a lot of people liked the whole Rudy Rudy it up. Yeah. But uh, some people were upset because I chose an actual truck stop and gave the actual address of an actual truck stop yeah. in an actual city called White House, Tennessee. And a lot of people were very upset with me about that. They're like, for the love of God, please do not send these idiots our way. White House, Tennessee is a beautiful part of the country, and you're fucking it all up. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is fucking stupid. This is really fucking stupid. I don't know why so many people are listening <coughs> to a pillow salesman and former crack addict. Yes. So okay. I would rate this. I would rate this pretty high. But you know, I, I would have to rate this pretty high because, like, seriously, how many times do you have to hear the same thing before you realize somebody's bullshitting you? Yeah. You know, like, it, it's like almost like that fool me once, shame on you; fool me twice, shame on me thing. Like. If you fell for the January 20 date... Oh. If you fell for the January 20 date... Fine. You know? Yeah, that's stupid, but they sucked you in with the story you bought it. Okay. Happens. But then they sell you the same shit again for March 4th? And then yeah. they sell you the same shit again by the end of April and June 8th and June, June uh, July 4th and August 13th like come on come on I would also tack, huh? I would also I would also tack on to this one the idea that we're going to get rid of Joe Biden and then we're going to get rid of Kamala Harris. And then the army is just going to come in and reinstate Trump. Like, that's not how it You're works. Glowing. The, the army can't just come in. We're not Venezuela. Yeah. You know? We're not... The army can't just come in. They're, they're not... That's not how America works. <laughs> and I don't know why you are clinging to this idea that the army At is just going to come moment. in and go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a pretty tenuous thread on how America works these days. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Uh, so you think a nine or ten or you want high? Yeah. Um, what's that ten right now? We don't have a 10 yet. We don't have a 10 yet. Okay. Let's just put it at 10 for now. Okay. Horse dewormer. The new hydro hydroxychloroquine. Horse dewormer. Which we now know makes you shit yourselves. Makes you shit yourself like crazy. Yes. Apparently, there's a lot of private Facebook groups for people taking the horse dewormer, and I, I followed some someone. Fun things. Yeah, and I followed some someone. Frightening on, things. Yeah, I followed someone on Twitter who who uh, got into a couple of them, and yeah, there are people who are just like. I've been taking 20 whatevers of uh, this horse dewormer and I shit myself at the Walmart. <laughs> Am I taking too much? How much horse dewormer should I be taking? I don't want to shit myself again. And it's like, yeah, okay. Shitting yourself and getting yourself in the emergency room to own the libs. Yeah. Good for you. You really got life all figured out. Good for you. Wow. Us libs sure were, sure have been put in our place by you shitting yourself at the Walmart. Uh-huh. 
But I also think it's it falls under the the hydrochloroquine. Yeah. Kind of yeah. thing. It's a, like they would not. These people are not smart enough to come up on the with shit like this on their own. So first they're told about it, and then they're just buying in because they're fucking stupid. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I do not see a reason for... Sh There's no, no nice way around it. They're stupid. Are they ignorant uh, or are they naive? I would put it around a five. Or are they just idiots? Like or middle of the road. stupid. What? I would put it around a five, like around the middle of the road, because... Yeah, I would say that these people were scammed, but also, it does take a certain level of stupidity to say, I'm going to beat this deadly pandemic by taking a dangerous amount of horse dewormer. That sounds exactly up my alley, you know? <laughs> like, so I'd put that around the middle of the list. Okay, so I'm hitting that at about a five. Yeah. So... Adrenochrome or baby brain juice. Okay, so, we, well, it's a known fact that the star of Forrest Gump eats babies. Yes. I think everybody knows that now. Forrest Gump eats children. Right? That's just yes. a fact. It's science. Well, so, just, just let me just recap that one quick. Yes. In case anybody else forgot, and because like Jeannie sounded like she needed a little bit of a reminder, this is what the evil cabal of pedophiles, you know, being the Clintons, which may be partially true. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks, and like all of Hollywood, are all part of the satanic cabal. Uh, and, and sacrificing babies to Satan and then extracting the adrenochrome whatever the fuck that is from their brains that was produced in the sacrifice and it is it is like a very intense acid which also keeps them young yeah it makes perfect sense to me well, f I've seen Hillary, okay? So, like, something in the satanic ritual just ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, last time I saw, wasn't holding up all that bad. But I'm really expecting to see him fall to shit any moment now. So, you know. Bill Clinton's going through his Brando phase right now. Yeah. See, now, the thing about this list, and I think I'm going to have to go a good seven on that one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty stupid. Now, the thing about the, this list, and we only have one more, is I'm thinking of revisiting it, because I think we could, use, we could do the same list from different perspectives. Yeah. Like, while I think that people thinking the COVID shots make you magnetic is the epitome of stupidity, and in my opinion, that's what reaches the peak for the most stupid. Okay? Yeah. But, hey, I'm a horror fan, okay? Adrenochrome, baby brain juice... That's my personal favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That is you know, pretty good. I don't think it's the stupidest, but... It's pretty stupid. Like, I think Anton LaVey, if he was alive, would have approved that. <laughs> you would have been like, sure, okay. <laughs> and then finally... The last in the list, drinking bleach. 
Drinking bleach. Drinking bleach. I feel that that has to be just one above horse dewormer. They're like, yeah, that's pretty stupid. But also, I feel that... Yeah, Trump was just being an idiot, and he conned a bunch of idiots. Yeah. You know? But you really... But but if you're gonna... If you're going to drink bleach... You are so stupid that you barely have survival skills. Yeah. That you are still alive is by sheer chance. Yeah. Yeah. If all it takes is for an obviously stupid president to say drink bleach and you're drinking bleach. Yeah, that that does require a certain level of stupidity. Like, it seems like these are the people that you can literally tell just anything. And not just drinking bleach, but injecting it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to go pretty high on that. So I think we're coming out with, though, you think the Trump reinstatement dates... Oh, let's just finish it up. I'm going to chuck that a seven. What do you think, a seven on that, drink and bleach? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, so for you, you're going with, as your number ten, dates of Trump reinstatement. Yeah. And I'm going with sticking magnets to yourself, sticking car keys to yourself. Well, to be fair, Ben Nickel stayed on me for a long time, so that yeah. just proves that there's a microchip in my bloodstream. So. Well, did you did you get the Pfizer? Which one did you get? I I I got I got this special Dollar Tree book brand. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 I don't know what that one was. It was just a guy named Eddie behind the Dollar Tree, and he said, I'll inject you. Well, if I'm not mistaken, bucks, so. if I'm not mistaken, those are the, <laughs> the Dollar Tree brand is basically just a Kroger brand that just didn't pass quality. Yeah. So Kroger brand, yeah. Yes. So that is it. If you want to participate in the poll, it is in the Facebook group, so you can go uh, give your own opinion on what you think is the stupidest. And again, remember, it is the stupidest, not necessarily the most dangerous or anything else. <laughs>